let me reload. We'll see if we're live. Hopefully I connected to the right one. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it shows, it shows that we're connected okay, there. Okay, okay, okay. It shows that we're connected. Okay, it was just, it was just delayed. Yeah, I mean, it may Why is this so loud? Actually. Holy shit. It's like, I'm just trying to have some music and I got to crank the volume down to like 20%. Holy crap. Big boss music, not elevator music. It's like one of the only songs I remember from, you know, I mean, I guess I, I know the songs that I put into my guides, but like, as far as like memorable songs, I feel like the menu theme was like one of the only really memorable songs. Yeah. All right. So it is Mech Warrior 5 time. Welcome everybody on, uh, what is it? Today? Tuesday, this Tuesday, the second week of April, 2024. We are going to be bing chilling. Wait, wait, I'm in Discord. You know what that means? That means I can. Bing chilling, bing chilling, bing chilling, bing chilling, bing chilling. We can bing chilling Capellan Farm last minute. Uh, we're going to, we get to like farm a lot more social credit than I thought. I, I guess I'm always more worried about bing chilling. the, um, I guess I'm more worried about the Capellan rep than I than I than was necessary. I, I thought we were behind schedule, but we're actually doing really good in that regard. Like, I'm pretty sure we will get the Capellans to the maximum standing. And the reason that's important is because the hammer does fall with Kestrel Lancers. It, it would be nice if you could do Kestrel Lancers from the Capellan side so that we don't have to side with the Federated Sons. But, you know, that's not an option. And since you guys did vote for the... Well, I mean, I think we would just always do the DLCs anyways. I mean, we paid for the DLCs. We might as well get some value out of the DLCs. But the point is that the hammer is going to fall with Kestrel Lancers. And we cause a lot of uh, reputation loss with the Capellan Confederation. So we have to kind of build them up so that they're, they're cushioned from the hammer strike. Anyways... As you know, I'm your host, Get Good Fox, and I am joined by my co-host, Dr. Sheriff Cramp. How is it going today? Yeah, it's going pretty good. We're not far off the Castle Lancers. I think we're only like five, six, seven months off it, and then we're going to have to put our red stained glasses on, sadly, but our orange stained glasses, should I say. But for now, we can uh, we can do the honorable thing. We can do the honorable thing and make it up to the, to the Capellans. Yeah, yeah, it's like... Um... The, the, what is it? The social credit in your hand is more valuable than the social credit in the bush. Or, I'm sure that's how it goes. That's the point. That's what it. we're going to be doing. And yes, like we do, we do, we need social credit. Like there's just no, there's just no way around it. So yeah, we're going to be continuing that. We don't have a whole lot of time before Kestrel Lancers, but we do have time. And where we last left off, we are in the middle of a a multi op. So we're gonna just gonna continue right with that, and I think it's time we get started. Cause why not? All right. So like I said, we are in the middle of a multi-op. So let's go ahead and do that. This one is a uh, infiltrate. Also, I cranked up the volume. So like down in Chatville, you guys are gonna have to tell me if you think it's too loud or not. But I listened to one of my recordings, and I felt like the the I felt like the background audio wasn't high enough. So I went ahead and cranked it up, but you know, we'll, we'll run a mission and we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to check in. It's just an infiltration. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be too much. Should be like some free. Well, actually, let me renegotiate. Should I, I think I might just go for the money here. Yeah, let's Easy. just take the money here. Cash dollars. Yeah, it's just like cash money. It's free real estate. Let Pretty me see, realistic. while we're loading, let's see what's going down on Chat Town. Number six says, what's up, guys? How's it going, number six? Happy Teddy Bear says, howdy, Come folks. Welcome, happy oh, Teddy Bear. Freddy 4x4, four four, our unofficial pilot, says, greetings, Commander Fox and Dr. Sheriff Crab. Welcome to the show, Freddy 4x4. Four four. Dara says, good afternoon, Light Mechs. Yes, we identify as Light Mechs. From enemy units to remain and like I said, if it's too loud, let me know. Or if I'm not loud enough, just let me know. What were you saying, Sheriff? I was going to say, since we've adopted 
Freddy as our unofficial pilot. We really need someone to replace Fahad. So if we have any applications in chat for a new uh, mechanic, let us know. A absolutely. Any new mechanic. I forgot to get my show notes. So give me, give me a second. Let me get my show notes up. Sure thing. My show notes. Okay, here are my show notes. Actually, I need the chat as well. I can't read chat if I can't see chat. Where are my show notes? Hello, Killsaber. Right about here. There we go. Killsaber, yeah, welcome to the show. We just got started. We just got started. Peliquim, also. Peliquim is our resident gladiator. He is a Solaris enthusiast. Have you yeah, maxed he... out your standing in the in the gladiator the thing? Location of some valuable supplies that our employer would like liberated. Like, I'm of the opinion that this is a little too loud, but like I guess I'm gonna let chat hear it down there. Attempt to sensor lock each mech you come across without alerting them to your position. Yeah. They're kind of far away. They are. And unfortunately, we still don't have any light mechs yet because all of the voted light mechs of the playthrough are invented later on. That really scammed us. Damaku, welcome to the show. Also, for everyone just tuning in, I was listening to some of my recordings and I felt like the gameplay was a little bit quiet, so I cranked up the volume. It's up to you guys, though. You gotta tell me if you think it's too loud compared to my voice. Like, if you think, like, the game and my voice are fighting with each other. Ooh, detection warning. Let me swing wide. You're not gonna get me. Maybe they'll get me. Not gonna get me. Not gonna get me. There we go. Snuck through them. The stealthiest of battle mech operators. Yeah, Dara, but all the best videos are in low quality. Yeah, it's just like retro. It's just more it's more indie feeling. It's not it's, it's not like too. it's not cheap quality. It's like more indie feeling. But like you don't want to have that like corporate feeling, you know, 1080p, do you? Go put down to 144p and you're just playing MegaWire 2. That's all it is. Yeah, it's more retro. Okay, so there should be one around here. If I can locate it. Oh, it's like literally right here. I wonder if I'm, I might try to get another one. Sure thing. No, the X is like right beside me. What did we get? A light rifle level one. Wow. I, I just I just can't wait to try that out. I mean, I was a little excited at first because I saw the 44,000 C bills, but then I was like, a light rifle. I think those are worth like 5,000. They're worth like nothing. All right, I found another one right here. I'm just gonna squish this turret. Where's the last one in? I mean, if they're gonna let me have the last one, I'm gonna grab the last one. Sure thing. Looks like nobody has any thoughts about the audio so far, so I can only assume that means that the audio is okay. As long as your the ratio of your voice to this, the game is fine, they can like turn it up and down their own volume. I yeah, guess. well, that's that's what I'm concerned with. Is like, uh, cause like in my ratio. headset, what I hear in my headset, I feel like the game is a little loud from my perspective, but like. That also could be that I have really nice headsets. Yeah, and I guess you, your headset isn't feeding back the volume your voice is going in at, I guess. Alright, I'm going to squish oh, these that... turrets again, and then I'm going to grab the last of these cargoes. Is that Damaku that wants to be the uh, new mechanic? Mechanic. Uh, let me see if I can get the uh, allied mech. Too dangerous to leave unattended. Better bring it okay. aboard the ship. Target acquired. I, I mean, I heard something Target shooting at me. Yeah. But I, mean, I haven't been detected. Oh, that, that was mean, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was shooting at you from like 2,000 meters away. <laughs> like that. Did it go near you? 
Uh, the, or the ones earlier did. Was there really a line of sight that was that clean? No, I can't see anything. All right, I'm going to try to get the... the we're going to try to get the mech. I'll try to get the mech. If we have to escort him, that's going to be kind of a bitch, but, like... Yeah, we can ditch him if we need to do that. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, they're not what And I think, I think we get paid in two halves. Like, I think freeing him is one half of the payment, and then successfully escorting him is the other half of the payment. So and even, you also don't take a hit to your... Um, Raising the alarm, I don't think. Yeah, either. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it actually. I don't think it raises the alarm on it. Yeah, everyone's saying the audio sounds good. I don't. I don't know how people wouldn't notice that there's that there's like a mech right here. Yeah, so they're like getting across. So yeah, that wakes everyone up, obviously. You want me to take a look, or are you going to try and get him? Um, I mean, let me see what this guy does. I mean, he's just kind of sitting there. Yeah, he, oh, there's a raven here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me knock out this raven. You don't have any salvage, do you? Oh. We don't have any salvage. This thing does not want to die. Okay, now it's dead. We got a whole bunch of crap in front of you, by the way. So far, we're doing okay. Ooh, that was a good hit right there. The worst bit about it is he doesn't have to get me to get that star wet the other hit of the map. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna like solo their entire attack force real fast. Do you want me to come and help, or do we just stay at the exit? Um, I, 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 no, I mean, like literally, I'm literally taking out their entire attack force. Oh, you're too little. Hey, more helicopters. Okay, I crippled that mech. Uh, looks like he's doing actually pretty good. To be yeah, honest, he is. he's actually doing pretty good. Man, that is a tanky tank. I don't think anyone's following him. Yeah, I don't think anyone's... And I mean, his armor is decent. They're dropping in reinforcements. That's funny. There was a helicopter attacking him. I just thought, keep going, loser. I mean, how close? Okay, I guess he has to go all the way back to the friendly half of the battlefield. Like, I see. It's it's the other. It's the star location is his objective. Yeah. He's nearly there, actually. Are you in good condition? Yeah, you're. There's three enemies here. Right hand side, I think. I don't know how far away they are from you, though. Uh, hurry up, Punchback. You don't have I wonder what they dropped. I have no idea what they dropped after me. But yeah, he's almost there. I was wondering if I was going to just coincidentally find all the enemy mechs just yep. because <laughs> I fought done. them all. Alright, let's do it. On the target's local battle forces. The client will be pleased. 
Well, there we go. We did like a more, like not a completely complete observation, but like, you know, like the only thing we didn't do was confirm the location of all the mechs. 3.4 million Seabills, the light rifle, the AC-10, the chem laser. Let's see what we get out of this. So... You definitely don't lose it, alright. Hold on a second. Let, let me, let's do some math here. So, we got 3,413,929. Let's subtract what we negotiated for. 2,783,578. So, all of the rest of that stuff added up to about 630,000 bonus pay. So, like, like, a little more than half a million. You know, is that worth half a million? Unfortunately, we did get the salvage on the Raven. I mean, which means I could have salvaged it. You're obviously going to get it. Like, it's, it's just the, the laws of Mech Warrior. It's just, tra it's just like, nothing short of tragic. It's just how Mac Warrior works. The mission area is under heavy weather Nothing warning. short of tragic. It's going to affect visibility and sensors. It just makes me feel like I should never not do... I, I should just use salvage every single time. That's how I feel but about then, it. And then the next time you'll not get any. I mean, I, I would much rather not get any than... It, it feels worse to get... It feels worse to not get anything. No, it feels worse to miss the thing you're looking for than to not get anything. Mm, perhaps. Oh yeah, let me get our pilots back. Actually, we we have a drop weight of only two thirty, so I mean we could do four hunchbacks, or we could just drop heavier guys in. Both are acceptable. Uh, you're gonna oh, use the yeah. warm. I kind of want to use one of these thunderbolts. Isn't there a thunderbolt you made that I haven't used? Quite likely. What about this new Zeus? Oh, heavy <laughs> rifle burst fire. Yeah, I want to try this. I want to try this. I think I've tried all of the Thunderbolts. I think you used to try the two of them as well. I'm going to put him in the, the kind of support Thunderbolt, the one with the LRM-20, because I, I feel like that one could be good for the allies. Yeah, I tried that one. I, I liked it personally. I haven't tried this heavy rifle burst fire yet, so I'm interested to see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to try the heavy rifle. Unfortunately, now, you know, like I got to give it some leeway. Because it is a tier zero burst rifle. So, like, you know, I gotta, like, I can't go too hard on it if it isn't good. Oh, they dropped us right in the objective for a change. Let me see what this gun looks like. I want to see what this gun looks like. Actually, not that big of a gun, to be honest. No, it's really small. Kind of looks like an a about an AC-5 sized gun. Definitely was expecting a slightly bigger looking gun. Not that I'm like overcompensating for anything, Baka. <laughs> All right, it's time to get in there. So someone was impressed by the um, assault barrel fist uppercut that I scored on like a, on a champion in one of the previous episodes. Yeah, this assault barrel fist like it has the punching power. It is the puncher. There's no way I'm gonna get to that guy. And of course they're attacking on the opposite side now. God damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna squish this SRM carrier then. On the opposite side we've got a shadow hawk. And a laser blackjack. Interesting. The blackjack like DB. The blackjack dude, bro. That's what it stands for. Damn. He's like, just, he's like arriving at your place with like natural ice in hand. Oh, 
Ah, Not... They're really coming for me. I mean, I would actually drink water over natural ice, though. What even is natural ice? It is probably the cheapest beer you can possibly buy in the United States. If there's a cheaper beer, I am not aware of it. Uh, oh my help. god, the reloading is so crazy on this tier one. Wow, I lost an AC2. An really? You weren't joking when damage. they said they were going on you. I'm not even like, in the red either on the component. This is a bit odd. Really annoying. I just can't get to any of the enemies. They're all like dying before I can get to them. There's a heavy mech. Okay, I'm going. I'm cataphract. going for that cataphract. Be like natural ice is, an, is it's a really popular ultra cheap beer. Like I I don't know of any beers that are cheaper than natural ice, or or the light version natural light. A headshot. It is very popular, though, probably because it's cheap. That definitely doesn't make it good, though. No, no, no. I'm trying to get in range. Wait, this is a heavy rifle burst fire? That just looked like one shot. That did not actually look like a burst fire to me. I mean, I blasted him, but, like, I, I need to just shoot into the air or something, because I swear I am not seeing multiple projectiles. I'm going for this guy. And, of course, I hit the barrel of, an uh, of like, a t a artillery prop. Well, we are halfway done. I'm going for this Jenner out here. I'm putting the lance on that other. What's with all these Shadowhawks? Incoming runner. If you can, give them protection until they reach safety. Okay, that's a bonus objective. There's no one even close to them, so they should be okay. Do I help you as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they will become allies. New target, Okay, here we go, here we go. Get to see the damage on a fresh mech. I swear to god, that is not a burst a burst fire weapon. Thanks for the assistance. Okay, uh, everybody together, chat. Like let's watch really carefully. I swear that it's just one projectile. I'm just gonna shoot into the air and see if I can observe multiple projectiles. I'm just gonna shoot I'm just gonna shoot straight into the air. And I'm gonna rake the shot. Okay, 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 I saw it. It's three shots. It's three shots. So when they say burst fire wow. heavy rifle, they mean it has three shots. Emergency generator destroyed. Those lookers just crashed into me. Alright, I'm I'm heading back. That was a good hit right there, I will say that. This thing is really slow. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised it is a heavy rifle, but I would like to point out that this thing shoots really slow. If you miss, it really stinks. Target acquired. I'm going critical! Oh, I'm gonna blast. I'm gonna, like, explode this guy with a heavy rifle. Boom! He got you to assume that his, uh, that his, um, like, upgraded tier 3 or 4 one would be a lot better. Oh my god, the, yeah, I mean, the fire rate is atrocious. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna hold it against it. Like, I'm, I'm gonna... 
it's not fair to judge it off of tier zero. Tier zero is like basically shit tier. So we got two of those shadow hawks. Sure, why not? Okay, so we're out of there. I'm gonna go, so like go ahead and cancel all of our repairs if we have any. Um, there, there's a hero mech right over here. Let's go ahead and grab this hero mech. Because we actually are, we weren't doing very good on money at first, but we're actually doing decently on money now. Now that yeah. I, I guess decided to like stop selling everything or stop buying everything in sight. So, oh, interesting. Uh, looks like it is a dragon model. I'm not sure which dragon it is. We'll find out in a moment. I need to change the color of that. Talking point. Okay, let's see which dra wh wh which dragon do you think it is, chat? You got you chat. You get a, you get one guess. Is it which dragon is it? I think there's two possibilities. It's either the flame or the fang, because I don't think the other dragons are available. What do you fang. think it is, sheriff? I, I, I'm, I'm hoping it's the flame, because the flame could be good with, ER, with PPCX. Definitely the fang, it's trash. Okay, we got two for the fang. Two, two for the fang. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. It is, in fact, the fang. Yeah. I always get it first. I wonder is the, the flame available yet? Good question. We throw it's these not a bad mech, it's just, but it's just only special about it. It's just, it's just, I, it's just it's basically, standard. I mean, okay, hold on a second. Before I beat up the thing, there are def, there are hero mechs that are not different at all. Like they don't have anything special. Hey. At least the Fang has endo steel. Yeah. The Fang has endo steel, so I'm not I'm not gonna hate on it. So in you go to the bin because you know we're not gonna use the Fang, but we picked them up, took them off the list. Uh, let me check to see if there's any better pilots. Um, I think we're looking for pilots in the skill level of about 50 now. Ready, we'll take this guy. That's fine. Now let's kick them right in the gondola. Kick them in yeah, the, the flame, gondola? Flame and the Fang are both available on 3015. Are you ready to kick people in the gondola? Always. Here, I'll buy one of these. It looks like we need more of those. What about... We are using flamers, so I'm gonna buy some of these flamers. And we do get it. We get 20% off from the Capellans right now, so that's good. I want that sh burst laser. Any burst lasers are good. I'm just gonna buy all of these melee weapons. Like I think we're finally in a position where you know we can start stocking up on ammo and stuff. You know we've got the money. I like to make sure we have at least 10 tons of every ammo type. Now, before I sell anything, let's go ahead and get um, new... Let, let's get some new Cantina missions, because you never know. Maybe they want Shadowhawks. Maybe they want Shadowhawks, just in case. So we're going to pick up some Cantina missions over here. Collect an Orion. Go to the Merrick Liao border and get a communication satellite and kill... 16 J Edgars. I mean, I guess. I mean, why? I mean, sure, why not? I'll do it, I guess. Uh, okay, let's sell some. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need to bring some mechs in. So, we collected a Hunchback 4 SP. That's a new model. Uh, what is the 4? The nice. 4P is the laser model. I feel like we have enough 4Ps, so I'm not going to do anything with that. I'm going to go ahead and sell. This Shadowhawk is worth 1.1 million. The other one's also worth 1.1 million. The spider is 600k. That's good for uh, such a crummy mech. Um, don't we need that Vulcan for something? Yeah, we need the Vulcan. So we're not going to sell the Vulcan. Oh, I'm bringing you in as well. If you want to customize those guys, like uh, feel free. But yeah, we, we got the Wolverine 6P. That should be an interesting one. Yeah, we're going to sell this be. Locust stuff. 360 for the Locust. Wait. No, 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 no. Let me move. Let, let me look at our hunchbacks real fast. Let's have a look at this. So we have a forehead, a, we have a, a, a forehead, a G, a P, a G, a J. I feel like that's fine. I'm, I'm going to leave this hunchback in reserve. 
But yeah, we've got the. Um, I, yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you handle the customizations while I continue shopping. I think. It seems like a good idea. Sounds good to me. Also, I do feel like it's possible we could find a raven while we're here because, like, they should be. They should be selling them. I think they would be selling them. Hmm. Oh, they're selling a hunchback here. Oh, it's a forehead. Not too. You know, I feel. I feel like we're okay on the forehead at the moment. Well, we only have one, but I, I don't. I don't feel like we have any need. I'm gonna get some more of these AC2 rapid fires since we are using them. Medium laser short burst, small laser short burst. Uh, we got some more. Let me stock up on some of this ammo. That's looking pretty good. Okay, okay, that looks fine. Looks fine. All right, so we also have some, you, you know, let's do some marina missions while we're here. I mean, why not? What's the harm in that? Good to me. I don't think there's any. It's gonna be hard to do something with this. Which one are you messing with? The Wolverine. Oh yeah. I mean, I guess his main feature is gonna be the Basher. Yeah, I was gonna stick the um, lance on, but I don't think I'm going to now. I think it's too heavy. I might go. To the these yeah. these rifles are so junk. Like all they sell are junky, junky uh, rifle burst fire. It's a little sad. I'm not sure if this is gonna be good. So we shall try. Well, that's why I'm gonna try it out. Mm. Let me go ahead and repaint these to the untested paint job. Well, while you're doing that, I will look at our next arena. So these arenas are not super high level. A free-for-all open. I mean, that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and take some salvage. Looks like we're going we're gonna to go a little lighter on this one, but that, I think that's fine. I'm going to switch you out yeah. to our new pilot. We've got a new 49 skill pilot. I am going to use... Wait, I'm let me see if there's any too. special conditions in the contract. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any bonuses. It's just it's just straight up straight up battle. Um, mm. I want to use. I'm in the mood for lasers. Wait, let me look at my pilot. What do you need? You need missiles. Okay, let, let me use the 4J. Apparently, I need to use missiles because like my my missile skill is falling behind. Like my laser skill is amazing due to PPCX, but my missile skill is awful. Right. I've done something with both of them. So what do we... Oh, we can... Uh, 50... Oh, yeah, 50 Yeah, something. it's like... It's hunchbacks. What to my X? Okay, I'll take this one. Yeah, I need to... I, I need to start using the J and the 4SP. Like, because, like, they're the missile-focused ones. Yeah. It'd be kind of cool if they give you two, like, good-level pilots to start with. The intensity in the air. Entertain the crowd by destroying components. The intensity inside the cockpit, Jackson. Enough? Yes, that would be an unfortunate turn of events. Man, they really stuck us out in the middle of nowhere. What if they had... Battle Mech Royale? Where you, like, you go into a giant flying dropship, and then your Battle Mech, like, gets a parachute and, like, nosedives out go. onto All the, the battlefield. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, looks like I'm going to lose my target lock there. There is a light mech over here. Maybe we can get some limbs. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to like bombard these guys. I mean, this basically is battle royale. Oh my goodness, he's trying to hit me. We have visitors. Yeah, don't look now, but we do have visitors. I'm going for his arm. Oh, there's a limb, there's a limb, there's a limb. Oh, 
Oh, you got him. Nice. Three components. Can I can I just stand still without overheating? No, I actually overheat. Wow. I didn't know that I overheated. He hopes that wasn't his bowling arm, he says. Mm. And these guys are these guys are fucking lame. There is something about weird about them, isn't there? Yeah, these guys are weenies. Oh, I just shut down. Okay, this mech is too hot. I need to I need to reconsider this mech. It's definitely too hot. Well, I mean, we're entertaining the crowd, I guess. I think I think this mech would definitely benefit from the chem lasers. Oh, I punched his I punched his axe off. I don't like how their voices are so similar. Like, it's very easy to mistake them for one another. My goodness, these Lucas are so chunky. I feel like we, we, we've destroyed so many of them, and yet there's still more. Okay, here we go. Right, I'm just gonna sit here and start volleying this guy with missiles. He's got a medium mace. I'm gonna hold your back. What happened? I'm just gonna watch your back. Oh, I don't think there's anything. I, I think those are all the enemies. Are they all them behind us? I don't think so. Remember, this is our spawn point. Okay, this guy's dead. Another opponent bites the dust. See anyone? Oh yeah, we are. They're real. They're, they're too far away though. Like that. That is not in my missile range. Like, I'm supposed to be a missile brawler, so like I'm gonna start missile brawling. Here we go. Missile brawling commences. Oh, that one has a mace. That one has a mace. We want that one. That we want that one. It has a mace. I mean, shoot legs off. Um, I mean, I guess. Well, whatever you think would get it. I I know a lot of people are skeptical on whether or not like destroying their legs makes a difference or not. I had shot him. Oh man. Oh, using his head to absorb the shot. Interesting strategy. Oh, he just hit me on sweet shot in the middle there. You know, I feel like headshots are... I don't know if headshots are illegal in Solaris, but, like... <laughs> he just killed that guy here, didn't he? Yeah, like, I mean... I mean, I guess you could say... Oh, people die all the time in Solaris. What's the big deal? Like, don't be a weenie. You'll get better. Just walk it off. <laughs> yeah, well... I just... We just want the mech. I don't care if war crime. It's like, we'll just- we'll This be guy's destroying, literally like, hiding behind this rock and I can't, like, get a lock on him. We'll be destroying some, like, civilian settlement next week anyway, so it'll not matter. What's the difference, right? This guy, really annoying. this guy is really getting on my nerves. He's just like constantly getting out of my radar lock. I don't want to get in the range of his. I'm going in the range of his uh, weapons, though. Uh, who's he focusing on? Me, kind of a mixture, actually. Okay, there we go. I don't think they eject, though. Oh, I'm running out of ammo, wow. It as a melee weapon. Hey, why don't you go pick it up? 
Folks, he sent another opponent packing to the scrapyard. Building his personal museum. I think the last one was a Centurion. Yeah, there he is. He's, a, he, he's he roached the battle. He's in full condition. It actually is Fortnite. We're literally playing Fortnite right now. The last guy is roaching it out. I mean, it's a pretty good strategy. That is true. Is that idiot really gonna stay there? I'm gonna shoot the rest of my LRMs at him. I mean, if he, if he wants to go LRM 5 to LRM 20, he, he's welcome to do it. I'll do it. I'm not afraid to swap it out. Okay, that was the last of my missiles. Cotton, the intensity of this match has waned. Neither mech warrior is truly going for it right now. Neither one of them will become the next great Noten playing it safe like this, Jackson. Okay, his armor is failing. Okay, we should be able to get that punch back. That's a new model. In fact, I think that's the last model we need aside from the hero. I'm actually not certain. I can't think of... No, well, there's a... Um, there is a Solaris one as well. Oh, there's a new Solaris model? Yeah, well, we'll the the I, well, we have to revise the list and make sure that we have them all listed. Mm. Okay, so we're now level three, the up-and-comer. I get the next one is, like, Thanos? Mm. What rank is this? What rank do you think this is? I think it's Thanos. Yeah. Infinity Gauntlet? It's, like, that's probably like what it is. We just about got the hunchback. Oh, it, it's Kestis. It, that's basically the same thing, though, right? Oh my yeah. God, we were we were almost one point short. It costed twenty, and we had twenty one, so we we just barely afforded it. I don't think I've ever used it before. I mean, I I mean, I'm kind of interested in it. Uh, okay, so we got a new message. So up and comer. I told you before, the arena has no biases. It chews up mech warriors no matter how green or seasoned they are. No matter how long you've piloted a mech, it takes a lot of guts to walk into the arena and hold your own. I've seen up, up and comers get blasted into pieces and become donors for the salvage faster than the opening match buzzer goes off. But you've proven to be a different breed. In recognition of your rising status, you've unlocked new opportunities in the competitive circuit. With the unveiling of team combat and two-on-two -two arena contracts, you're now poised to take talent to the next level, forging alliances and battling alongside trusted allies. With these new contracts, some exciting challenges and lucrative rewards, the thrill of team combat adds a dynamic element to your battles required coordinated tactics and teamwork to secure victory. As you navigate the complexities of two-on-two -two skirmishes, you'll have chances to further demonstrate your versatility and adaptability as an arena combatant. And with each successful contract completed, you'll not only earn a substantial sea build reward, but also solidify your reputation as a force to be reckoned with. Don't ease your foot off the gas. You're getting into a real groove. So it sounds like it'll be like, you know, like four, four versus four, but with two AI allies. That's what I'm mm. guessing. So we got a tier three, two tier three rapid fire AC5s, a tier four medium lance, and a arena supercharger Mark One, and twelve, uh, one point two million C bills. Not bad, not bad. And um, and then also we got that new. Oh, you, are you already? Re okay, you already got them recustomized. Yeah, I just really made, I made a mistake with those. So I'm just gonna go in and redo it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let me see what the next mission is here. So this one is a solo, so we'll skip that one. And then over here, we'll check out Kurrigan. Also, we are looking for a... Uh... A raven. All of the ravens, actually. That'll be interesting. I've never used... I, I am far from the raven expert, so I am interested in how that's going to work out. I use it quite a lot, actually. There's a Vulcan here for sale, but... I, I, I mean, the Federated Sons love the Vulcan, so I feel like we'll get one. So I'm not gonna... Normally I would buy them just to kind of, like, get them out of the way, because you, you just want to level them up quickly. I'm gonna buy that. 
I'm gonna buy all these melee melee weapons are really cheap, so I don't I don't have a problem buying melee weapons. Buying a little bit of ammo. Our ammo stock is actually looking pretty good now. Now like we have ten of most ammo types. And then let me go to matter. So wait, wait, let's let's see what the contract is here. Okay, we 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 can do some of these here. Yeah, let's do some of these. The nasty weather means your visibility will be limited out there. Um, are there any new hunchbacks to use? The four SP is still in production, so probably not. Okay, I'm gonna use the forehead. Um, I guess I'll use the four G. Oh, let me see if there's any special conditions. Use some energy weapons to get the crowd on their feet. Okay, okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna switch to one of the P models. That Just way we can thing. definitely get some laser damage. So we got a question down in Chatville. Uh, Kill Saber K says, well, so has anyone built a hunchy 4P with medium chem lasers or short burst like lasers? This one actually yeah, is short burst lasers. The one yeah, I'm using yeah, right now is. Now, the thing is, I don't know if it needs chem lasers or not. Like, the, the only time you need chem lasers is if you're overheating. Target acquired. Oh, right in the back. Big shot on him there. That's how I like it. Oh, they're jumping me. They're jumping me. There we go. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Oh, don't let him hit me with the mace. Oh, I punched his mace off. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, here they come again. They're grouping up on us because we've got too many enemies, or too many mechs, apparently. Oh, we were only supposed to bring one? What happened to that thing? Big hit on his rear armor there. Oh, there goes him. That's him, that's him, that's him. Finish off that, um... I am beating this guy's ass. Oh, get, get her! Oh, catching some hands! Ah. Come back! Come back! He wants some... A battle fist action. Oh, yep, let it... Oh, I'm losing all my weapons. They're like focusing fire my laser bank down. I'm gonna take cover so I don't lose like, every laser. I'm literally just been like rolling with three mechs here. Big shot landed. Oh no. Where did he come from? I'm moving in on him. I do one as well. There's no way I'm gonna keep this torso. The Hachiman's in really bad shape. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Yes. Somehow my side torso has not fallen up. I lied. Don't worry, I still have one laser. Watch this Tickle Me Elmo medium laser short burst action. He is on the other side of this. The last enemy is a is a roaching um, trebuchet. Last one's a It's like a trebuchet that's been roaching. He got shelled. Target acquired. Yeah, maybe the, uh, I mean, the chem lasers might be a good idea, because I was overheating when I was going, like, full guns. They got shelled. Jake Mason clinches the victory. Ooh, did I lose his, oh, I kept it. Will be in if he keeps I lost, like, seven lasers. Oh, he shot the wrong bank. What an idiot.
That's the only problem with this model is like you lose so many weapons. I know. There's that one little bike. I mean, it's it's a good model. Don't get me wrong, but like, there's definitely something to be said about like lopsided designs like that. Let me see if I can get a bunch of lasers. All these lasers are garbage. I don't want they, these lasers aren't good enough. Here, I'll take those two, and then well, I'll I actually just grab have that. enough to replace the whole thing. <laughs> well, I, I I just got to remember to keep buying more. We got to like buy more. And they were all tier two. So I'm amazed we had that many left. Let me sell these off. So we get about 500k for that, and we get uh, six six sixty for the uh, the medium max. So not super impressive, but you know what can you do? It pay it pays off the the uh, the damage. So over here, do you want to do you want to run that solo mission? And I'm gonna run to get a drink. Uh, sure, I'll do it. You may as well. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna use the Zeus. The biggest light mech in the game. Enjoy. I'll be back in a minute. It's game on! These mech warriors are primed and ready! What did they bring? A Vindicator? Wow. Yeah, 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 we'll do we'll do a chem laser build. The problem is it's a little you do have to make an active effort to search for chem lasers. But yeah, I'll do I'll do a chem laser build. I also want to do a pulse laser build. Going for his... Oh, that's right, I don't have the right kind of weapon. I forgot I have small lasers now. Big hit there. Imagine bringing... Like, you can bring any mech you want and you bring one of these. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Vindicator, but I got to destroy his arm, apparently, for a challenge. We'll do it. I, okay, there we go. About the same. Oh, I need to destroy both of his arms? No! There, I destroyed him. I thought it I thought it meant that I just had to destroy one arm. Wow, I didn't get the mech. Super stinky. What are they selling here? Nothing that I want. Let's make sure they're not selling chem lasers. Yeah, they they only sell chem lasers at like black markets. Let's go to Madison real fast. Is there a so we got a question from Fer Freddy? Freddy says, "Is there a best area to find chem lasers?" Yes, they're called black markets. Like black markets are the best way to get chem lasers, or basically anywhere that isn't an industrial hub, unless your industrial hub has a black market. Nothing good here. Let me see. What do you guys got here? Nothing I want here. Medium laser short burst. I'll buy those. Like I said, we get a good discount from Liao here, so I'll take it while we got a nice discount. Check our ammo supplies. Ammo is looking pretty good. Um, we got another duel here, and then we've got. I'll just do the duel like, real fast. You know what? Let me take. 18, I'll take 18, assuming that um, the mech is probably a medium mech, and a beat-up medium mech, I can probably get it for 18. 21. Who's who's ready? There's got to be somebody ready. Maybe I'll use the cookinator on him. If I use the cookinator on him, it'll be pretty good. Oh, that's right. Sheriff's AFK. Okay, so while the sheriff is AFK, let me see if there's any mechs we can um, redesign. Who did I want to mess with? Oh, oh, I know. The the J. Where's the J at? Easy win. Okay, so I wanted to mess with the J because the J was having some overheating issues. 
So let's let's try out chem lasers on the J. I wish, you know what would be nice? This would be a really awesome feature. If they just had a text box, and I could click the text box and just type in chem, C-E-H-E-M, and it would help me find them more easily. Okay, four chem lasers. I'm probably going to need three tons of ammo, maybe? Yeah, let's try three tons of ammo. And, um... Yeah, I think that's I think that's fine. We'll just leave it like that. And then one of these P models, I kind of want to try chem lasers. Do we have enough though? And we need more chem lasers. We only have, we, I, and I'm gonna get like my OCD will be like obliterated if I don't. Like I I cannot handle having chem lasers of different qualities. I kind of want to try flamers. What if we did one that's all flamers? Eight flamers. Wait, we could do nine flamers. The Cookinator? Okay. We got, I got another 1v1 real fast, Sheriff. No problem. So, in order to try to salvage this mech, I'm gonna try to overheat him and then like, the you know, like, way. dissect Our them carefully. Oh, perfect, it's a, it's a hot battlefield. New target, Phoenix Hawk. And it's a Phoenix Hawk. Phoenix Hawks, they overheat pretty fast because they have a tendency to use their jump jets too much. Yeah, we need more chem lasers. Chem lasers are not the easiest to find, unfortunately. Or, especially if you need a lot of them. Is he not going to come towards me? Okay, he is coming towards me. You know, when the MechWarrior 5 Clans comes out, I wonder if uh, MechWarrior 5, the regular game, will get a graphics boost from it. Or if they're just going to be, like, totally different games, at least in that regard. It's so hard to know. I, I, I don't think they will, but... Let me fire a warning know. shot at him. I'm oh, I hit. I hit. I hit. I hit. Matsor. I, I see something shooting. Movie. What is shooting? Why is there an orbital gun in a Solaris battlefield? Raiders. Okay, here he is. All right, we need to cook him. Yes, get closer. Yes, use your jump jets. We need to cook him. He's running away. He's out of my range. He's like he's, he's like, looking he's looking pretty hot. Like... He's looking really hot. I will say. Oh, good. Yes, more jumping. I'm gonna cook him. I'm cooking him. I'm cooking him. Oh, he sh he shut down. He shut down. He shut down. He shut. What? No, I need to cook him. I need to cook him. Cook him. Oh, oh, he shut down again. He shut down again. He shut down again. No, a little more, a little more, a little more. No, 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 no. I'm cooking up. There we go. There we go. Uh, ah, uh. Give him a little cook, a little more cooking. A little more. Just a little more. A little over easy. You got to make sure that you cook them. Oh, damn. I got him. Medium rare. I might, he might have been a little overcooked. You know, you know when you like forget your chicken in the oven? Yeah. You just get your chicken in the microwave. And that bitch gets like incinerated. <laughs> like that 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 bitch gets incinerated to the point that you could like stick it in a furnace as charcoal. Sounds like beef. Damn it! All I got were I'm done with arena. Arena's stupid. I'm going back in here to fight like other people. Oh, here we've got a um we got a black market here. About less than a month before you're gonna get the call to go to the Castle Lancers. Oh yeah, we need to we need to go like we need to do that then. That that's probably an important thing to do. Let me see if the timeline if it's showing up. Okay, no, it's not in the timeline yet, but that's fine. 
Wh where are we right now? We are in, you get, like, some we're in the Duchy of Sasang right now. So let me drop that objective here. And let me get this objective, which is in the Duchy of Sasang. Um, do, do I want that missile carrier as well? J. Edgar's Thunderbolts. Eight cicadas. That's a lot of cicadas. Collect an Orion. We might get an Orion. Orions aren't that uncommon. Orions are fairly common. I, I think we can get an Orion. Um... Oh, yeah, we were going to check the market. So in a black market, we should get better. We should get some of the unusual equipment. There we go. There's a he Well, it's not a burst fire. I'll buy a heavy rifle anyways. All right, so this is where we should... Oh, let me get these flamers. Chem lasers. Here we go. Short burst lasers. Also, this is where you would get ammo, too. So, like, light rifle ammo. So if you need... Chem laser ammo and stuff like that, then you want to also check the black markets, because that's where you're going to find yeah. them. It does make me wonder, were the black markets and um, I can't remember, were the black markets in the game before Heroes of the Inner Sphere DLC? Because I feel like a lot of that um, Heroes of the Inner Sphere DLC weaponry doesn't, is, is only available in the black market. Is clans running on a different engine? I don't... I think it, like, technically is. It was... I think they imported it. I think they took clans and imported it to the new... The thing, though, it kind of doesn't matter if they're running on a different engine because Unreal is designed for you to, like, be able to easily transition into the next one. Which is exactly what they did. Oh, there's another black market here. I, I, we just... Okay, this is where the mission takes place, but there's also a black market here. I'll take that heavy rifle. That's a high quality small chem laser. Short burst. Um, I'm just gonna buy all these. And let's also, once again, keep stocking up on rare ammo types. I only need like 10. 10 tons is good. Unless there's a weapon we're really using a ton of. It's usually good enough. Uh, no ravens yet, unfortunately. Alright, so... Oh, good, good. So not only is this a Davion squishing mission, but it's a Davion squishing mission that involves getting the, the pickup. So we're looking at a target kill. It's in the summer. There's a deluge going on, so I guess it's gonna like damage our vision or something. But what it really does is give us more salvage. 1.5, uh, 1.6 million and 33 salvage. Extreme weather conditions will interfere Let me get us all loaded senses, up. And will most likely restrict visibility. Be careful out there. Okay, so don't don't we have some new mechs that I haven't tried out yet? Yeah, there's, a, there's two melee mechs. And then there's the 4SP. Which one are you going to try out? I'm not fussy. I can try any of them. Really I'm, I want to use the new Wolverine. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try the Hunchback. Okay, I'll give them something a little bulkier. I'll give them this. And that. Oh, it's too heavy. Uh, I'll Here's... give them that, and then I'll give them this. There we go. Nice. So this is the lose. Wolverine 6P with the claw. Interesting. And an AC2. It only has, basically it has a small ballistic, a small, uh, medium energy, and a small missile slot, as well as the two missiles. So it's not a lot you can do with it. I don't know if that'll have enough ammo either, but... I mean, I think the, the main thing is the melee weapon. That's like the big feature on it. Yeah, so I just thought something to take down a helicopter or something might be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weapons online. And then on this, I went with a AC-10 rapid fire. Try that again. Two medium lasers, and then that is a lot of weapon groups. Let me knock two of those extra weapon groups off. Having the matching arena fist is nice, though. Yeah. Because the the medium claw has the same attack speed as the arena fist. That's why I couldn't get the Lance in. Although the Lance is really slow. 
Uh, so let's investigate this area, then we can hit the uh, the bonus objective. Yep. Oh, oh wow. Um, I see a wow. There's a longbow in there. There's an Orion in there. We need an Orion. I don't know if we can salvage an Orion. Yeah, we could salvage an Orion as long as it's not a headshot. Right, well, let's, uh, so let's get this guy out of here. I'm gonna get close to this guy. He's got only long range weapons. Okay, I'm putting the There's lance on. I want, I'm going to see who they're targeting real fast. In the Wolverine as well? Okay, they're not targeting me is the main thing. I'm sneaking up behind them. He's not going to see me. Oh, he's mad about it now. He's not happy about it. It's a big old attack. It's just a big old melee. I don't know what's happening, but it's happening. Oh, I'm hitting my own guys. Okay, I got him. Got his arm. Oh. I missed his last one. Got his other arm. Where did that Orion go? Did the Orion down? It's, no, yeah, it literally jumped me. Oh no. Okay, we got this one. This one's down. He's stuck. No, there go. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the. Uh, wait, wait, what's this? There's an enforcer here. He's down. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the um, the cargo real fast. There's a partisan. I'm putting the lance on the partisan. I can't see through the rain, but I think I'm hitting it. I'm hitting something. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Alright, we got it. Let's get out of here. Well, this mech is kind of interesting. You know, yeah, it is. It's It, it kind of reminds me of um, some of the early Banshee models we did where, like, they basically had to do melee. Yes. The speed, though, does make it a lot easier to do melee. Well, I gotta say, this uh, Hunchback did not hold together very well, although I did get, I did get jumped by an Orion, to be fair. Well, it was also, like, the entire squad of their mechs were there. I think the issue was, like, we probably needed to approach it a bit differently. Because at the, t at the time whenever I went in, the Orion was on the right-hand side of the base, so I went round to the left to, like, counter around the back of some of those mechs, and then it was just, like, in front of me, and I was like, oh, well, that is not what I expected. It is what it is. Well, because, like, the thing is, like, those mechs can't disengage easily. That's the problem with the Hunchback, no. is that, like, the Hunchback is very committed to the fight. Yes. Like, I don't I don't mind diving in as the Wolverine, because I know the Wolverine isn't as committed. Like, the Wolverine can get out of the fight. But, like, you know, like, the thing is, like, 64 kilometers is interesting, because 64 is fast, deep in the game. Like, when you're fighting at 100 tons or a hundred ton enemies, then 64 is suddenly really fast and you can disengage. But like against smaller enemies, you can't disengage at 64 tons. Uh, we did get the, this though, 1.6 million for that. 
and a tier 4 SRM6 stream and 5 tons of ammo. That gets us to level 7 on Treasure Hunter. And there's a cantina here, so... 15 missile carriers. That's an easy one. Uh, let me sell off this Enforcer for 600k, and then also this Longbow, which was actually really easy to salvage. It didn't cost that much. It only was like 18 to salvage. 2 million for it. We'll take it. Nice. Um, let me go over here. We got a beachhead over here. We we got we got some stuff we can do over here. And there's also another black market. It did take me a while to kill that um longbow. It was an elite pilot though, so you know I'm not too surprised that it took a little while. And elite pilots have a lot of defensive bonuses. They sure do. Still no sign of a raven, other than the one that we killed and couldn't salvage, unfortunately. I'll take these short, or these small laser short burst. I'll buy all of these melee weapons. Don't even know if I need them or not, but I'm taking them. Let me wait. I just want that mech to be available. Okay, so what we have here is... Oh, this is a high-level mission. Wow. I don't even know if we have the tonnage for this mission. So we have a pretty high-level beachhead here. Do you, do you, it's like a 78 on the difficulty. 360 tons. We can try it still. Yeah, we can give it a go. Okay, lots of salvage here. I'll do a little bit of damage coverage. I'll do two damage coverage. 1.2 million in case we take, like, a beating from this. So 45 salvage, 2.5 million sea bills, 1.2 million in damage coverage. And this is going to be a bigger match, so we're gonna, I'm definitely going to use something a little nicer. Or I might go fast, one of the two. Um, I could use... The Q. Or I could use the Thunderbolt. What what are you thinking? I might use this chem laser warhammer. No, maybe I'll use a Thunderbolt actually. Oh I don't know. It's so hard to decide. I think I'm going to put them in our supportive Thunderbolts, the ones that have, like, LRM options. Okay. And then I'm going to do one of two things. I'm either going to use the Quarantine, or alternatively, I'm going to use one of the Warhammers. Yeah, I'll go to Camp Laser Warhammer. I, think, I feel like I'm going to need the tonnage. Because we're going to be quite underneath. Uh, let me see if there's anything in the negotiator or any any additional information. I don't think... Okay, so it doesn't tell us anything special about it. Um, uh, You know what? I'm, I think I'm going to stick with the firepower on this one. I'm, I'm going to use the AC2 model because I, I do want the range for sniping the um, the towers out if I need to, but, you know, I'm going to try this. I was debating oh, using mean, the quarantine for the speed, but... As close as I can get you without getting shot down. 90 tons under... Oh, nice shot. You did that. Oh, oh that guys. was whoever was the... Uh, okay, we got company. Dinner. Okay, we really hosed them out right off the bat. That's good. I'm not going to waste my ammo on this one. Radar dish down. 
There's a dish down, good. There only is three a small map, which is good. That's also good. That makes me more comfortable in the choice I made. I was worried there'd be a ton of radar dishes. Uh, let's try to not get too close to the main objective. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes they get really nosy. They're like, oh, you got you got even somewhat close to us? Did he shoot it in the base? It destroys quicker. Hmm, I detected There's an enemy artillery. artillery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Only one, I think, though. Got a battle mech here. I'm not going to take unnecessary damage from him, so I'm just going to get in the cover. Okay, he's engaging someone else. I'm letting him have it. Helicopter, I'm on it. So far, so good. Yeah, yeah. The worst is yet to come, you'd have to imagine. Yeah, I'm in good armor condition. I want to make sure I'm in good armor condition for one hard battle. That's kind of my goal. I'm guessing they're going to have a urban mech at each of the main objectives. That's my assumption. It's like, what for massively underweight? It's like, all right, boys, lock in. I know. Oh, good zone. To... Welcome to the show take anything for a granted at all. Yeah, I mean, it's like every point of damage can be the difference maker. Um, Locust 3V, I'm putting the Lance on him. Mm, two Locust 3V, or no, just two no, Locusts lovely. in general. On a helicopter. Chopper's dead. Stupid mechs are making us look stupid. They're really hard to kill them. Oh, yeah, I got his leg. Oh my god, he has so much armor because of his defense. I'm actually red on one of my arms now because of that. I am literally red on one of my arms because yeah, of how long it I'm took orange. to kill one of those locusts. It just goes to show you how much of a difference the pilot skill makes. I like over the distance. I, I don't know how much damage resistance they get, but it's got to be at least 50%, if not more. Maybe it's like 75%. It's something really high. Like, the amount of damage reduction elite pilots get is just wild. Nice. Okay, here's the mechs. Let's see what we get. A Griffin, a Warhammer, another Warhammer, possibly three Warhammers. I'm not going to waste my ammo on that urban mech. Two Griffins, I think. Another urban mech. Those are our helicopters. Oh, maybe I will waste some ammo on the urban mech. Bunchy, 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 bunchy. Okay, it's a 3E model. Commander's target. Group up. Target 
I guess they're killing the urban mech. It is an elite banshee, so it's not going to go down anytime soon. Not wasting my ammo on the banshee either. Somehow that urban mech isn't dead, and there's something behind it as well. Another herb. They're all elites, too. All elite urban mechs. Alright, I got half my ammo for the final battle. Captures. There's more artilleries. Get moving. Way in the corner, way in the corner. Uh, Javelin 10 and then bind. And another helicopter. We have a new objective, Commander. Destroy all additional artillery. Unfortunately, that artillery might be too far away to do anything about it. And it looks like yeah, just keep moving. Miss some artillery batteries. Javelin, target acquired. This Javelin is a green pilot, so not too big a deal. We should be able to knock him out at range. Chopper is down. Everyone is shooting at him, and no one is hitting him. I just didn't see what it was. As a Centurion Elite. Whoa, getting out of the artillery. Nice kill. It's going critical. Look, our, our reinforcements are actually doing something. There's, Wait, there's, those, a drop uh, ship. there's a dropship. There's a dropship. One of those Warhammers is like kind of cooked up a little bit. He's obviously been doing a bit of fighting. As long as they're shooting them and not me, that's the thing I that no matters. No idea who they dropped. Um, there's a rifleman and a hunchback targeting his main weapon. Yep, okay, I'm firing on the rifleman now. He's focused on firing me, like crazy. He's taking a lot of damage. We got him. Oh, he actually really did a damage to me. All right, this is it. I still have 400 shells. We're dropping back. Almost hit me there. That's repositioning to requested nav point. Nav point reached. If I lose my arm, I don't care too much if I lose my arm. There's just the small laser in it. There's a partisan in the distance, just be careful. Okay, I'm going after this Warhammer. Okay, punching that. Oh, I got the, our allies are blocking me. He's down. I lost an arm, but once again, just the small laser in it. Kind of funny, like the the arm on this is kind of a red herring because you know the the enemy likes to go for whatever is most damaged. So if they are focusing fire on the arm, it's kind of a red herring because all I lose is one of the six small lasers. Okay, lost. Oh, there's some items here. 
That should be good enough for the invasion force. We'll relieve you once they've secured this location. Okay, there's only one guy now. I think he's in the north. Oh, is he dead already? Oh, he's dead. Nah, no, nah, no, it's missions clear. Nice. Yeah, so like... That's what I think that's interesting is that like the enemy still seems to go for the arms on the Warhammer, but in this particular model, that's actually a good thing because they're wasting time going through the arm to get one of the six medium or six one of the six small lasers. And then like yep. there there isn't the repair cost on an arm is really low because it doesn't have any penalties, like, any like additional p repair penalties, unlike the engine, the legs, or the head. So we got 2.2 million, and we got a tier 2 AC-10 burst fire. Uh, pretty good salvage, actually. Let me get that medium laser short burst. Hey, he's him. Yep, baby is doing very good. Thank you for asking. How are you keeping? Pretty profitable overall. We took uh, basically 400k in damage coverage, so I, I did overestimate our our costs but you know i i i'm not gonna say i'm not i don't have, I have anything bad to say about that that went really well that was really oh, amazingly good well yeah 100 percent. i think that i think that ac2 warhammer is actually really nice yeah i like it as well okay this rifleman's worth 1.1 million this jenner 600k this Locust 425. That's pretty good. What? Why is it worth so? Oh, we took its legs out. Engine was intact. Interesting. The that Warhammer. I'm interested to see whenever we get some lost tech. Um, if it could be upgraded into small pulse lasers, even though they're like you know twice the weight, with some double heat sinks, be interesting to see. Yeah, that, yeah. I think that would be really nasty. Yeah, I would. I would like to see a. A hunch a, a pulse laser hunchback, yeah, with the tonnage saved on the double heat sinks. Yeah, I mean, in theory, I mean, that it sounds like mixed. it would be devastating. Yeah, uh, let me see here. We are gonna head over. Wait, 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 wait. Cantina missions one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got six. Let's go over here. There's a lot of missions here. I think these are going to be really good. This is going to probably... this. I don't know if this will be enough to get us into the maximum tier for the uh, Capellan Confederation, but, like, it's going to get us up there. Plus, because that was a higher difficulty mission, we definitely got a nice uh, faction bonus for them. Let's see how we're doing, actually. Oh, my God. We're so close. We're right at the edge of it. Oh, good. We got two Federated Federated Sun squishing missions here. How are our vehicles or how are our mechs looking? Um, repairs have a little. I'll get the the one day one will be done. Okay, let's do. We also have a triple mission here for the independence against the Fed Suns. That also would be pretty nice. We have actually no. We just have a lot of missions here in general. So I'm this is. Haven't had the call for Castle Lancers yet. Scrapyard with a scrap storm. That means we get bonus payout. And I'll take it. This is a war zone. Heavy oh, okay. warning is Let me see if there's contact. anything special in the contract. Will be compromised out there. Nothing. Nothing particularly interesting there. Uh, tonnage is two thirty. So. Do we have any? I, I want to use one of our new models. We haven't tried out the 4XP, which is still in reparation, and then there's the 4SP. Yeah, I'm going to use this then. I'm going to use the 4SP. I might try out that Wolverine then. Okay, let me give them one of our bigger mechs. Big boy. And then I'll give them one of our normal-sized mechs. There. As balanced as it's going to get. Perfect. Um, Kill Saber asks, what do you think about Chem Laser on the Warhammer? I think Chem Laser just in general is really good. The, the main thing is that it does take a bit of effort to acquire enough of them. Yeah. I'm going to ask, go ahead and ask our first uh, stream question, though. So our question of the stream is going to be uh, the subject of guilty pleasure equipment. First, we'll do mix. What are 
your top three guilty pleasure mix. A guilty pleasure is going to be something that you know isn't considered that good, but you just like it for some reason. Three mix. Pick three mix. I'm trying to think. Oh, you shelled him out. It's a really good question, actually. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, mechs that you know... Mechs are they, they don't have good, to be bad. Like... They, don't, they don't have to be bad, either. They, they, they can just be kind of okay, but you like them. But you just like them. Like, they don't have to be strictly bad. But bad mechs. I mean... I've always had a really soft spot for the Banshee, even before the PPCX. And, I, and that's all the Banshees. I just really, I just really like them all, even the bad ones. And that's why, like, I made such an effort to, like... Oh, wait, well, I both made such an effort in the previous playthrough to get it to work as much as we could. Um, even going as far as making a version that doesn't even have any weapons, so... Um, I made mean, the Banshee's probably one of them for me, although the thing is, it's not really a bad mech anymore, so it's hard to know if that even counts. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think it counts. Yeah, well, then the Banshee for me is one, probably. Because, like, you know, we haven't tested it enough with the new data. True. No, that's a good story. Oh, other. So I, I'm trying to think of one, some of them too, because like the thing is, like I, I really like a lot of the mechs. There's a lot of mechs that I like that are. I mean, like it, it's also kind of a player perception thing as well, because like one mech that I really like is the Champion. I, I think the Champion is decent though. I, I don't have a problem with. It. I don't think it's a bad mech, but it is perceived as a bad mech. And the reason I like it is mainly because I just like the way it looks. That's the big I'm thing. Also... I like how it looks like it's an airplane and it's gonna like fly off. And I like how wobbly it looks. Yeah, it's a wobbly weirdo. I would say maybe the Raven as well. I know a lot of people don't really get much joy out of the Raven just because it's weird and doesn't come into the game a bit later. But I think it's a really nice AI mech. So not even for me to use it, but I, do, I quite like throwing it into a, um, like a, a mixed balance lance of like say three assaults and then Maybe you're doing like a 300 ton mission and then you just like throw that thing in the side. Oh, I'll just tap that thing in my head. So, another mech that like people do not like is the dragon. But I like the dragon. Like, I am a dragon enjoyer. And once again, it's not a mech. I, I don't consider it a bad mech. Oh, we need a Vulcan. Hopefully we get a bubble. Whoops, I should have just mangled it. I mean, it, it probably doesn't matter, to be honest. But yeah, that's another mech that is perceived as not very good. But I just like it. And, and the thing is, I get a lot of mileage out of the dragon. Like, I, I don't perform poorly with it. And I do think that it has, like, some unique... I, it, I do think it has unique advantages. And it probably, I mean, the hero mech is probably one of the best mechs in the game as well, the Sidewinder. Yeah, of course, the, the Sidewinder is a very oh. dangerous mech. The most obvious one for me, probably, is the Shadowhawk. I love the Shadowhawk. I think it's so good. Um, and everyone, everyone I talk to shits in the Shadowhawk. I think it's a really, really good mech. And the Hero mech, and I, you're probably sick of me talking about it, Fox, but the Hero mech is the GD, is the Grey Death. I used it for the first time the other day. It is such a solid mech. So I think I think the Shadowhawk might be might be it for me. What if you, the number one. What if you got the, the Shadowhawk GD and you're oh this must be Grayson's and then it's like no it's the Shadowhawk God damn That would be really funny. Although unfortunately for that, it, I think it actually is. It's got his color scheme on it as well, but yeah the Shadow I think the Shadowhawk's a really good mech. The Shadowhawk comes into play whenever you realize that you don't have to fill every single like slot basically on the mech. When you realize you don't have to fill every slot on the mech, then you then you, the Shadowhawk comes into comes into his own. Yeah, it's like that. That's how a lot of those kind of like hybrid type mechs wind up being. I've noticed. This Wolverine is so they're so tanky. They're so hard so to kill. I'm just trying to knock his legs off so that he'll slow down. Oh, he's dead. There was a heavy mech over here. Oh, it's a champion. Speak of the devil. 
the champion playthrough. That's what I'm looking forward to. The thing about the champion, it's like, it's not the most threatening thing in a stock format, but I still don't really like fighting it. It can definitely do a lot of, if you don't knock it out quickly, it will do a lot of damage. Yeah, they're quick and they have a lot of weapons. That's the main thing, is that they have a lot of weapons, so like, you don't want to ignore them. Number six reckons the Warhammer. I think it's a good shout, since the Warhammer is not the best mech, really. Um, so I mean, a lot of the mechs that I... That is good. Basically, all of my Guilty Pleasure mechs are literally just mechs that I like the look of them. Oh, you know, the Mauler. That's another one. Like A lot of people do not like the Mauler. A lot of people don't... Yeah, a lot of people don't like it. I think it's a really good mech, actually. A lot of people don't like the Charger either, but, you know, I, li I, I do like the... Ch I don't know about the standard Charger. You know, w when we get our hands on that one in the Charger playthrough, we'll see what we can do with it. But the, uh, some of the alternative Chargers I actually think are quite nice. How are you finding the that build? Is it too hot or is it okay? It's actually, it's just fine. Like if I mean, yeah, if I'm going full guns 100 percent of the time, then it does eventually overheat. But it, I mean, it's fine the way it is right now. There's a lot of weapons on that mech. A lot of sorry, a lot of heat sinks. Kill Saber says the quick draw Kintaro and Urban Mech. I mean, I wouldn't consider it like, you know, the Kintaro is a big fan favorite. Lots of people. In fact, the Kintaro is yeah, often regarded as one of the best mechs in the game by the community. So I don't know if I would consider that one a mech that, like, that people kind of like, nah, you know, thumbs down to it. I said the Kintaro has the opposite problem where I think it's slightly, like, it's a really good mech. I actually think it's slightly overrated, though. Like, I think people overrate it a little bit. You like, well, like, because it's like the Golden Boy. Like, if people did like a top ten best mechs in the game, the Golden Boy often makes it onto the top ten. I, I really like the Golden Boy, but I think the fact that it's slower than the standard oh, ones Vulcan. really, really kicks his ass. I haven't used the Golden Boy enough. It's good, but I just, I just don't like that it's sixty-four kilometers an hour. Okay, if we take out this Vulcan, we have two chances to get a Vulcan to complete that. There's actually another one behind us as well. Okay, look, we gotta get all away. the Vulcans. In fact, we're in pretty good condition. Maybe we just camp this mission out and we can maybe we can sneak a few Vulcans out. There was another one over here somewhere. Follow me. Um, there's oh, there. yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, if we kill enough Vulcans, we're certain to get one. That's something we learned when we were farming rare mechs, was to do these kinds of missions and then, like, drag them out of it. To increase yeah, the right. odds of getting the, especially if you're fighting the correct faction. Even as like, look at that single, that single AC2 rapid fire is actually lighting him up pretty bad. Whoop! That was a whole bunch of friendly fire. I've got to say, I've not been massively set alight with the Wolverine so far. This, this one, this is where the, this is why I'm starting to enjoy it now. I like this. This is this is a nice mech. Yeah, I, one thing that's nice about the claws is how they match the. Uh, yeah. They match the arena fist, so they're but they're very very quick. Like if you could stick on to them, where you can kind of like attack on you know, immediately one after the other, it does damage very quickly. I really want to try a quadruple AC2 rapid fire build on the Mauler. I mean, it's gonna be disgusting. Some of those new Corsairs can do it, I think, as well. Target acquired. So those are our guilty pleasure mechs. The next, the follow-up question is guilty pleasure weapons. Weapons that you just like to use, even if they're not necessarily good. Doesn't mean they're bad, but they just weapons that are not meta, but you you just like using them. Hmm, I thought there was a vehicle here. There definitely was. Okay, I'll look a little harder. 
So, one of mine is definitely the AC-20. Like, I'm not saying the AC-20 is bad, but I definitely don't think it's amazing. But there's just yeah. something very satisfying when you just shoot a big, fat glob of, like, cannon shell on somebody. I think whenever I was first pioneering melee weapons and eight and heavy rifles, that's what my answer would be. But I think we've proved time and time again that those are very, very good and yeah, yeah. certainly can't be considered bad. So for me, I think small lasers. I really like small lasers. Small lasers are really fun. Like, I really love a Banshee 3S and just a bunch of small lasers on it. Is it Enforcer? What's the other one? Two Enforcers? I'm not sure. I didn't see a second one. See, I'm going to go with... Uh, so my first pick is going to be um, AC-20. What's my next? Let me think about what my next pick is going to be. I think it might be um, LRM-20 Artemis. Because like a lot of mm. people say LRMs are bad because they sand. They they kind of you know, the, the the common argument is that they sandblast the mechs rather than concentrate all of their damage. But like, I really like Artemis LR. I mean, I like LRMs in general, but I really like Artemis LRM in particular, 15 and 20 especially. Oh, I was about to say, who's that over there? That must be you. I gotta think of a third one, though. Yeah, it's gonna be a damage. I'm gonna back up. Yeah, we're, we're a little ways off. I'm trying to catch yeah. up. I just realized. Moving at the speed of, like, Hunchback at the moment. He doesn't see me, so I'm just gonna get laser. on him. Where's the binary laser at? Oh! Bro, he just got wasted. There's another Vulcan. Okay, I see them. Engaging commander's target. I'm stuck. You know, I'm not sure if I want to say chem laser because I really like chem laser. I mean, here's the other thing. I really there, there's like a lot of these. I don't know. I don't know how to classify some of these um, new DLC weapons because I haven't decided whether they're good or not. But like, I really like. Rapid fire AC too. I don't know if I don't. I don't know if it's a guilty pleasure weapon yet, but I'm really liking it. Same with um, I do like chem lasers. I like your fight. Okay, I'm sneaking up behind him. He doesn't see me. It would do me no harm leaving. I think. Um, I think there's one more mech over here. I'll go squish him real fast and then just drop yeah. in. Unless they unless they send reinforcements early, then just jump in immediately. Yeah, here we go. It's just this guy. It's just little bro over here. I'm gonna bully little bro real fast. Here it comes. Here it comes. Ah! Well, Contract successful. Beating up little bro and like stealing his lunch money. He's an extra quarter mil. Nice. There's no way we don't get a, a Vulcan. I will be, I will be so forward. mad. Yeah, four. I will declare it. I will declare it fake news. Okay, yeah, there's our Vulcans. I was gonna say I didn't see them. I guess we'll take this. What do we, what do we got here? These mechs are like really beat up. Well, we know that the Jenner tends to sell well, so I'll take the Jenner and one of the Vulcans. Let me throw them in. Give me the salvage. Give me the salvage. All right, collect oh. two Vulcan. Oh, wait, wait. Well, let me see how much they would be worth. So the Vulcans would be worth 500k. So they're about they're worth about a million in total. They're going to pay us 1.4 million, so about the same amount. But we do get a tier 5 LRM-5, 5 tons of ammo, plus obviously the um, mech collector level 7 unlock and additional upgrades so you know i would say that's still pre oh there's the priority transmission mm -hmm. we have six months we got we got we got a little bit of time we got a little bit of time let me see the time well we got 188 days 188 days they're really holding off their whole invasion just for us yeah it's like also we got 636k for the jenner the, the jenner is definitely worth salvaging like they, they tend to sell really well 
Uh, let's do this mission here for, uh, this is the anti-Davion mission here. Target kill. Definitely wants salvage. You know what? Let's do an artillery strike. If they're all in one spot, maybe we can blow them up with the artillery. Uh, this one's like a low, this one's only 200 tons. So we can either take, what do you want to do, four hunchbacks or three mid-sized mechs? Um, so let's go with the hunchies. You got a hunchback? Okay. Let me see. I'm going to use, I'm going to use the HP. Yeah, I'm not amazed by it yet, to be honest. Oops. Okay, I'm going in the HP, which is the melee model. And we'll go we'll give it a shot. Happy Teddy to Bear says best to get bing chilling. Wait, 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 where's my soundboard at? This bounty is only payable if Wait, where's my soundboard? It's best to get bing chilling, chilling, bing chilling, bing chilling. No, you wouldn't want to have low social credit. I don't want to have low social no. credit. Okay, so... Okay, so melee is the third weapon group. It's like the hunchback squad. There's a big mag over there. You see him? What is that? Yeah, wait a second. I'm gonna bomb him this. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll wait. Oh no, he's moving. What is that? That's a hit. What the hell is that? Uh, let me get some light. One, this is Sierra Two One. We are prime for assault. That's good. Time for your tango confirmation. Sierra Two One, over. That's a lot of mechs in there. Panther, Kintaro, Wolfhound. Oh, a Wolfhound. That's way too close. Nope, we did not. We used it very wisely. We, we like, intimidated them. We put a smoke screen. To cover our advance. Yes. Can't see him. Okay, I'm going for. I'm gonna leave the wolfhound alone for a moment because, like, maybe we can like peel him apart or get a headshot on him. Maybe we get lucky. Oh shit! I will disable his main gun though. Oh, he died. Well, you know, maybe we get lucky and, you know, you never know. You might could get lucky. You never know. You never know. Oh, headshot. I'm beating his ass. Dog ship. No, dog ship. Oh my god, I'm taking a whole bunch of rear armor damage. From who, though? Probably just lost an arm, I assume, which is not a big deal for him. Come closer. You know you want to. Very good, I very big brain idea. Definitely come closer. He's too fast. I can't hit him. Definitely come closer. Ah, 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 ah. I missed. I missed.
Oh, that was a terrible shot. The best accuracy. What is it? Thousands of hours of gameplay, the best accuracy. Wait, who shot at me? You shot at me, how dare you? I might record just at that AC-20 shot. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Ammo low. Oh my god, we finally Target killed it. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to the most, we'll the most the evasive procedure. manticore. <laughs> Elite pilot. Um. Oh, we got the wolf out. We got. We got our first. We have it. We have our first voted light mech. You guys voted for the wolf out. We got it. Down. We got it. Look at that. That was worth doing. Let's see. Uh, let me just get him. How much does it cost to repair you? Thirty-eight days. Yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. So we did. We got the wolfhound. That's the good news. Is there, like, an industrial hub nearby? The answer appears to be no. Looking for any other Liao missions, because, like, now now we know we're definitely, like, you know, we got, like, half a year, basically, before the, the actual thing happens. What level is this area? 11 to 12? 5 to 8? Okay, let's just go to Lee, then. Well, 7 to 10, we might be able to pick up a mission in this area. A triple mission? Oh, it's a triple arena mission. Wow. Oh. Are there any Fedcom school? There's a defense contract here. Hmm. Let's, okay, let's go over here real fast. We'll get that. We'll get that um, wolfhound fixed up. That's our first wolfhound. Of I, I honestly, I thought we were gonna get a raven before the wolfhound, but yeah, we fought a raven as well a couple of times. Just never got There's salvaged. a cataphract for sale. Oh, it's a. It's not and just any cataphract. It is a. Um, Solaris model. Yeah. 17 million smackaronis for this model. I mean, there is the markup, but even with the markup, 17 million smackaronis for the model. Easy scam. Okay, let's go get this mech fixed up real fast. So here we have a brand new mech that you guys voted for. You wanted to see the Wolfhound, and I think the obvious thing to do with this is to put a PPCX on it. I can think of no bigger brain strategy than that. PPCX. Let's trim a little bit of the armor off. Just to round it down. And then I think, um, how about three small lasers, short burst, and then three heat sinks, and then maybe we'll knock the armor down a little further, or maybe not. Maybe we won't do that. Here, we'll leave it like this. That's fine. That's fine. Wait. Ah. Aha. There. Wait. There. It fits perfectly now. 30 days for the refit. And we're going to repaint you into the untested model. And let's go down to Bethel. Okay, we we've got a a fed a fed sun squishing mission here. This might be let let me see how far we've gotten. Maybe we can actually 
like I said, we're, our goal is to get Lea. I don't know if we're going to be able to max him and get, like, capped out on Hero, but we could definitely get to Hero. I'll be surprised if we can't. Standing. Yeah, we're right. We are right on the razor's edge of it. Oh, it's a low-level mission with the Kellhounds, possibly. When is this going to be done? The Wolfhound is done. Okay, okay, we're going to... I'm, I'm going to... Even though every day counts, well, every day counts right now. We'll, we'll, we'll pilot it next time. Even every 10 days could make a difference. How is this such a low-level mission? Isn't this a high-level area? 7 to 10. So the minimum difficulty is 7, and you're telling me this is a 7 difficulty? Would have been the perfect mission for the Wolfhound as well. Yeah, I, feel like, I feel like this is fake news. Careful, Commander. The sensors are malfunctioning due to the weather, and your visibility on this mission will be compromised. One of our as pilots well. is injured. Swamp him. Oh, we got a 40. I didn't put the 40 in. You go in, and um, you go in. What do we got? Yeah, he's going to be ready in 10 days. Uh, what is there a mech I haven't used? I feel like there's a mech I haven't used. I'm not sure. Well, one thing, uh, what's our drop weight? To okay, I'm gonna use some of the faster mechs. So I'm I'm gonna use the the um the Wolverine 4P again. In fact, I might just launch them in a bunch of these so that they can keep up with me. Looks good to me. Morgan Gilroy says he's always late to the stream. Yeah, I, that's why I try to... I do what I can to try to let people know when the streams are going to be. But, you know, sometimes things happen. What can you do? Oh, here we go. Oops, I accidentally stepped on that innocent helicopter. I'm not even going to bother. With, the, with these orbital guns shooting and everything, there's no way i this guy. Okay, we've got a Jenner, and then we got a Chopper in the air. It is time to maybe get in range. Ooh, got his arm. Man, I want to try the mech lance. We got, we got to like, uh, we got to try the mech lance out on the the, the hunchback because I think the hunchback has more space. Yes, that's true. PPCX Griffin, excuse you. Copy, we're on it, sir. Look at this guy, PPCX Griffin. Bling dope. Targeting is PPCX. No, nope, that's a miss. Oh, I missed it again. There we go. Now I got it. This is the guy who's always getting cut off. All weapons are off. Get off my battlefield. Recon has spotted additional bogies. Coming along a trajectory that intersects with your well, You wouldn't think you'd be able to aim melee weapons, but once you get the hang of it, you definitely can aim melee weapons. Uh, do you not remember I used to hit like headshot them with the bunchy? 
Oops, I don't know why, but I do tend to get more headshots with melee than like other weapons. Yeah. Oh, that's an elite yeah, Jaeger. Mag. On a rifle mount. That's that Jaeger and his tanks. Yeah, I'm gonna disable these tanks before. Uh, I want to see who he's targeting. If he's targeting me, I'm getting into cover. But. But first, I'm gonna recon him and find out who he's shooting at. Not me is the answer. We have your target, Commander. He doesn't see me. What is he aiming at? What are you shooting at? Oh, he wants that. He wants that ammo. He's shooting the ammo. Oh, he likes me now. We're taking them apart. Nice. I can't believe he specifically went after that, like, ammo storage there. This rifleman has a pair of PPC. That's not good. Not good for a, such a hot battlefield. Also, I think the enemy's literally dropped in the middle of our base. Save my, save my be He always gets cut off. We literally died twice. Cut a lot of mechs. Heavy mechs for a 203 drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very suspicious. I feel like his base, I feel like his people have a lot of health right now. So I kind of don't care if they kill some of his people. I'm going to, I'm going to go after this rifle, man. This isn't some hollow fit, Mark. Our people will die if you aren't careful. Target acquired. He came back to life, too. Something out of PCX. Let me know who you're going after, and I'll tell our Lance to focus on him. On Can I just wait for them to get out of it? I might go for that cataphract. The, well, the two cataphracts. It's hard to explain this one. Okay, I'm going to tell him to attack the current cataphract that I see. Oh, that, that didn't bother you? Okay, it bothered him. I wasn't sure if it bothered him or not, but it did. Okay, this, um... Oh, apparently I, like, scratched his face out. I guess I'm more like a cat than I thought. Alright, returning to battle. I have our guys on that uh, green cataphract in the distance. Yeah, it's actually currently trying to shoot me for me. No, no, it switched to him. There's something up there. Oh, yeah, the last mech. He's just sort of stuck up here. Yeah, I'm having trouble getting disentangled from these, from stepping on his people, but, you know, it'll be fine. Is that another rifleman? This one's a typical rifleman, though he's been refitted into short burst lasers. He's a energy, he's a heat um, preservation. What he doesn't have is armor preservation, though. True. He's just like, he's just like, sitting there in the back. He thinks he's a Solaris Gladiator just rooting. See, so, okay, if this was the real Battletech universe, this is where our company could, like, contact him and demand him to surrender his mech. He'd probably end up being, um, court-martialed. I mean, because, like, all of us, could, we could just grab him and throw his mech to the ground wow. and start beating him up. He just, he just one-shot my arm. He's Davion's newest rising star. He was. Oh, he did a backflip. He's like, this is the beginning of my story. 
But yeah, like all, all of us, if this was like the real Battletech universe, we could have just, you know, crept up to him or snuck up to him and like just grabbed him and like pushed him onto the ground and started like slapping his head and like start like pounding his cockpit until he surrenders. 2.7 million C bills. A tier 3 ER large laser. Not sure where that came from. That might have been salvage. Of course, we can't get the cataphract that I punched through his face. Or the Rifleman that I also punched through his face. Or you punched through one of their faces. I have no idea who did that. Yeah, I blew his face off. But I guess we'll take this. It's good enough. You're definitely right about one thing. Curiously high resistance for a low-level mission. I'm going to press X to doubt on that one. The Wolfhound is ready. So here is our new Wolfhound. Uh, armed with a PPCX, three small lasers, short burst, and, uh, you know, just to round out the tonnage, because it basically had full armor and I was missing half a ton of something. I'm like, okay. Um, one light hammer fist. I don't know. I think that's going to be pretty devastating. It's going to be pretty dangerous. At least I think so. But we'll have to try it out next time. Uh, we finally got one of the light mechs that you guys voted for. We're up to 56 million. Uh, we could sell this. Uh, 1.2 million for the cataphract. Definitely take that. Pretty good. Let's see our standing. Oh my god. We're still not quite there with Liel. And we, let's see how much time we have remaining. And we've got 124 days. We're going to make it. Yeah, we got 124 days. So that means Kestrel Lancers is probably going to happen next episode. Um, so someone said that they didn't want me to read all of the dialogue in Kestrel Lancers because it takes a while. So I may not do that. I may not read the dialogue. Um, and if we don't read the dialogue, then we'll probably be able to get through Kestrel Lancers in a single session. Because I think it's like nine missions or so. But I think that's pretty good, because we are running up on time. It is currently 6.10. So I will say that we... Bing chilling, bing chilling, bing chilling. Bing chilling, some pretty good social credit there with the Capellans. Uh, they, they almost honor us. Like, we've almost, like, you know... Like, we're almost best buddies forever with the Capellans. So down in the chat... There is a link to the Discord if you'd like to join the community. You can ask anything you like about MechWarrior there. If you want any of your builds reviewed, uh, build advice, just gaming advice in general, just or if you just want to chat with other MechWarriors, feel free to join. Uh, you can also see the schedule there. So if you're ever wondering when I'm playing and what I'm playing, uh, you just got to go to Commercial District and... Here is the schedule. Today is the 9th, which is why we're playing Mech Warrior 5. Tomorrow, I will be on Seven Days to Die. And then on Thursday and Friday, I will be back on Mech Warrior 5. And then we will round out the uh, the day with uh, Seven Days to Die. Uh, also, look at the background. That's how you know what platform I'm on. I will be on Twitch for Seven Days to Die. Also, the Banshee video is basically done. Look at this. Defiance Industries Banshee BNC-3E, one of the oldest battle mechs ever created, the Banshee is an intimidating model that was heavily criticized the moment it left its assembly lines. Severely underarmed with weaponry a medium mech might carry, the Terran Hegemony ordered 5,000 of these mechs despite the criticism much to the dismay of their commanders. Today those searching for a Banshee will most likely find them in the Lyran Commonwealth. The Banshee is a tough mech but has anemic firepower. This beginner level refit will fix this. Strip the mech and add one PPC-X, max the armor, two assault arena fists, set the rear armor to 10, the head to 23, the arms to 52, and the legs to 60. In battle, enemies often ignore the Banshee. Use this to your advantage to obliterate them with devastating rear armor attacks. Subscribe to Get Good Fox for more tactical debriefings on mechs such as... So you just got to see the short version. The short version will be up on YouTube, uh, my TikTok. It'll be up on my TikTok uh, channel. It'll be up on YouTube. It'll be up on my Instagram. The full version, I have not. The full version Welcome is uh, about 
12 minutes long. Uh, I have not gone through the... Um, I, I always watch it one more time, at least one more time, just to make sure I catch anything, you know, like spelling it. Like, let me see. There's got to be a part where there's words. Like, so I, I have to re re So this is all done on Photoshop. I guess you want you want to see behind the scenes. I'll show you behind the scenes. You get behind the scenes look. So all of this is done with Photoshop, and Photoshop is not... It doesn't have a spell check in it. So, for example, this is what the uh, they actually look like. This, like when you're seeing these, this is what it actually looks like from my perspective. Um, and there is no spell check for this, so I do have to reread all of them one after the other, uh, just to try my best to catch any spelling errors. Because, like I said, it doesn't have it doesn't have a spell checker. That is not something that that uh, that is featured in it. Maybe, maybe if I download a plugin, I could get it. But you know, that's how that's how it works. But yeah, so the Banshee, I don't know when I'm going to upload it. Maybe I'll upload it tonight. Maybe I'll upload it tomorrow. But I need to watch it one more time just to make sure that I catch as many errors as possible and then I fix them. But it'll either be up tonight or tomorrow. And then I will be moving into a light mech. Uh, which light mech will I do? I'm not sure. I was kind of hoping that we would have had a good um, Wolfhound model or a good Raven, but, you know, as luck would have it, we just weren't able to acquire one. But, uh, yeah, that is that. So stay tuned for the next full-length guide. And you already got to see the short. But, yeah, stay tuned for the short as well. Anyways, any closing thoughts, Dr. Sheriff Crab? None at all, other than it always feels like the Kestrel Lancers takes longer to arrive than I imagine. I, but we're nearly there. Personally, I think it's because it's the first DLC, and we're oh, got to be ready, got to be ready, got to be ready, got to. And so you you know how it works when you're when when you're staring at the clock, time seems to slow down because you're very like present with the time. Same with when you're performing a plank. When you need to plank for like even one minute, like one minute of planking seems like forever because you're very conscious of the time. And I think that's the reason why it feels like it takes a while to like catch up. At least that's my opinion. I, I have no idea. I could be like out of my damn mind. Did that say something about the Grey Death Legion? The Star League Memory Core discovered by the Grey Death Legion. The Grey Death Legion mercenary group have announced the recovery of a memory core from a Star League field library facility that now lies in ruins on Helm. Arriving on the heels of official news proving the Legion's innocence in the tragic Tian Tan massacre is lending legitimacy to Colonel Carlisle's announcement. He further insists the discovery is too valuable to withhold and is freely distributing copies of this Helm Memory Core. Already experts are speculating the Memory Core could contain unprecedented amounts of unencrypted data from the Star League archives and is likely capable of reviving some of the technologies lost to humanity through the Succession Wars. What do you think of that, Sheriff? I think uh, Gris and Carlisle might be the ultimate Giga Chad of the Inner Sphere, to be honest, after having read his uh, biography. Yeah, and uh, in MechWarrior 4, um, you have to pick sides. You can pick um, the Grey Death Legion and House Steiner, or you can choose the Kelhounds and the Federated Sons. Unfortunately, the other three factions basically play no role, like, whatsoever in, um, in it. But, you know, what can you do? But, yep. That is going to be that. Bry Y says, Now I wonder how the hero mechs originating from Solaris will perform in the Solaris arena, like the Legend Killer. Good question. I mean, the Legend Killer, you could do two twin PPCXs. So, you know, you, you can do some pretty nasty stuff with it. But, yep, so Kestrel Lancers in 124 days. Um, Mech Warrior Clans, if you didn't know, they did release a 22 minute gameplay demo. Uh, we got to see a few mechs. I guess I will identify the mechs. People were wondering what mechs, though, that we saw. I will identify them real fast because some of them I don't know. We saw the Shadow Cat. So this is a ve very unsurprising. The clan's Shadow Cat is one of the most popular of the clan mechs. Like, it's very, very iconic. We also saw the Kit Fox. So the Kit Fox, also known as the Uller, depending on... Because uh, uh, a lot of clan mechs have two names. 
The Uller is one of them. I'll probably use it because it has the word Fox in it, which means it's one of the best mechs automatically. Also, what kind of weapons do you think this thing has, Sheriff? It's a 30-ton th mech. It has a lot of weapons by the looks of it, just looking at the pictures. SRM-4s, cannons, LRMs. 30-ton mech. What do you, what do you think it's packing, your 30 tons? I mean, most 30-ton mechs don't have anything more than a... An auto cannon, a couple of missile launchers. What has it got? So, so this will be the sheriff's first experience with the clans. Like a lot of people started with the clans, but the sheriff, he's actually kind of doing it the right way. He experienced the inner sphere first, and this will be his first time experiencing the clans. So, the standard kit fox at 30 tons has an LBX AC5, an ER large laser, a small pulse laser, and a streak SRM4. Oh my God, it's a lot of stuff. So we also saw the Arctic Cheetah. That was another mech in the in the Lance. So here we have the Arctic Cheetah. Uh, this is one I actually don't know very well. Like the Arctic Cheetah is not um, a clan mech that I was very familiar with. It is a smaller clan mech at 30 tons. Uh, 129 kilometers is quite fast though. Another clan mech that we saw was the Viper. Also known as the Dragonfly, kind of resembles the Crab. But it's not the crab, it's the, um, it's the viper. The 40 tons, so another, you know, like, these are all smaller mechs. And then I think the last one we saw was the Mist Lynx. Yeah, oh, not the Mist, there it is. The Mist Lynx, also known as the Koshi. Here is the Mist Lynx. So those are all five of the mechs that were shown in the clan's uh, trailer. Mist Lynx, also a 25-ton mech, so it's a smaller mech. And so the biggest mechs was the Shadow Cat itself and the Viper, both the only medium mechs of the group. But yet, yeah, that's what we've seen so far. The only the only concerns I have about the Clans DLC, I have two, I have three concerns with Clans DLC. One, I feel like it might be repetitive because I don't think it'll have any procedural mission generation, and that means every mission will be the same forever. You know, once you've done it once, you'll have always done it. That's like one of the that's one of the big weaknesses of the old MechWarrior games. Like if you went back and played MechWarrior four, three, or two, uh, they would be exactly the same. Like they don't have any procedural mission generation. Now some of their missions are definitely more handcrafted and could be more in interesting as an individual mission, but like. Um, they will always be the same. Whereas in MechWarrior 5, I continue to get surprised. Like when I when I spawn in a mission and I'm immediately getting attacked by artillery in my own base that I need to defend, and then the base loses 50% of its condition in the first 20 seconds, that surprises me, and I'm not expecting it. So like, uh, that's one of the advantages of procedural mission generation. Another weakness I expect from MechWarrior 5 clans is I feel like it's probably gonna be a little too short. I don't have any reason to justify that. That's just my forecast. I just feel like, it, I don't know how they're going to pack enough missions in, but you know, maybe, I'll, maybe they'll surprise me. And then um, the last thing I'm concerned with is the dialogue. Uh, some of the dialogue that we saw in MechWarrior 5 clans was not super great. Uh, in fact, let me go to my Discord. I'm sure it's still there, like I, I posted it. Let me scroll up right here. Yeah, this part here. So this is straight out of their 20 minute game demo. So a inner sphere mech warrior named Helmar Valasek says, what you call yourselves the smoke Jaguars? I figured it only appropriate to burn you all into smoke. Ah. If that's the kind of dialogue we can expect, um, it's going to be kind of cringe. Yeah, I would say so. Th this is the same kind of dialogue that we get out of Kestrel Lancers when you fight Comstar. They're like, if only you understood the, the truth of what was going on, foolish mercenary. We are the true good guys fighting for the greater good. Good. Like, I'm convinced. I'm convinced, like, mustache twirling villain is definitely, like, not the bad guy here. But that's those are my concerns for MechWarrior 5 clans. Anyways, any closing thoughts, Dr. Sheriff Crab? You know, just one more that you mentioned. You know, we mentioned there about the game not having enough substance to it. 
What might be nice is if in Mech uh, Warrior 5 Mercenaries, you can, you know, once you've played the clans, you're bored of that, you come back to Mercenaries and from 3050 onwards, you can now start taking up contracts against clans or something like that. And that, that would be nice if they could implement something into the game so that there's still a procedural generation there. I don't think there's going to be any crossover whatsoever between clans and, uh, and mercs, but it would just be something that they could do because I, I, I agree, I think this, that, that game is going to suffer big time when it comes to uh, content. But again, no justifiable reason. I just don't. I just think that what's made... We're just Mer being Merc's negative so good. Nazis, that's what we're doing. I think a little bit, but I think what's made Merc so good is the replayability of it. Like, we wouldn't have sank like the guts of a thousand hours into each if it, if it wasn't replayable. And there's plenty of really good games out there that I've played that are, are you know, they're just a story game. And I've played them once, played them twice maybe. I mean, what, an example of that being The Witcher 3, it's one of the, my opinion, one of the best games ever made. A uh, really long story, and I haven't even got a third of the hours put into that game. And I played, I played it through at least three or four times, and I haven't even got a third of the hours in that game as I have in Mech Warrior Five Mercenaries. And trust me, there's a lot more substance to uh, The Witcher Three. So I, that's that, that that concerns me as well, to be honest. I think any sort of story-based game with no procedural generation will suffer, but we'll see. I, I mean, they can we can only see. I hope I'm wrong. So Happy Teddy Bear got censored for saying fucking clanner, so I had to manually approve that. Armored Core 6 rocks, that's true, it does rock. He says Shadow Cat and Kit Fox, I love those. Yeah, they're very iconic mechs. Uh, he says, do you think we could use the Uzeal or the Vulture? I am very confident we will get the Mad Dog, which is also known as the Vulture. I'm pretty sure the Uzeal is not a clan mech, though. Yeah, built by Defiance Industries. So the Uzeal is an Inner Sphere Omni Mech, I'm pretty sure, uh, and it was designed in 3065. So it would not be, it would not exist yet. The uh, it is the Uzeal is a really fantastic battle mech, though. Speaking of Armored Core Six, I'm gonna plug something really fast. This is my VODs channel, which is my second YouTube channel. Here, I'm gonna link it right here, and I do happen to have a playthrough of Armored Core Six. This was a blind playthrough. I did not look up anything. I just used my own wits and skill to overcome it. So you could see my Armored Core Six playthrough there. Like that was a really good one. I did enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, Emergency 2008 says, This DLC is so much fun. My new favorite weapon is the PPCX now, and still trying to get the medium rifle burst fire. Yeah, we're having the exact same issue, that we're having trouble finding um, burst fire. Uh, I do have a lead from someone who does a lot of arena. That'd be Pelequim, and he says that he mainly finds them in the arena. So we'll have to farm the arena to, kind of, to try to, like, fish out the better quality burst fires. Yeah, I, I actually, the, I like the... Um, I liked, uh, what do you call it, Armored Core 6 enough that I fully completed the game uh, over here. Let me see. Where am I? Where does it show your achievements? Does it show your achievements? Oh, achievement. Yeah, see here, right here. 30 out of 30 achievements. So I got the S ranks for every... Th I, I, got, I fully cleared uh, Armored Core 6. That's very rare, because normally I don't care about achievements. But I really enjoyed that game. So yeah, I did. I put a lot of effort into that. So that was, um, yeah, that, that is that. I think we answered everybody's questions. Once again, as a quick reminder, uh, we will be playing next on stream schedule says Thursday. Thursday and Friday are the other days. I, I don't know if the sheriff will be available every single day because, you know, his daughter was born very recently. So if he's not available, I'll fly so or I'll walk solo. I'll, I will pilot solo, but if he's available, you'll see him there. Anyways, tomorrow I'll be on Seven Days to Die on my Twitch channel. But yeah, till next time. Thanks for being a badass audience, everyone. But it's been real. Fox is getting out of here. So remember, at the end of the day, that you don't have to be good to get good.